Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in the Grand Tetons and highlight of the morning so far is we already saw a moose. It was so cool. It crossed the street in front of us when we were driving into the park. It was awesome. Majestic. <laughs> And now for our big adventure of the day, we are hiking to Delta Lake. It's a nine mile round trip and 2,300 foot elevation gain. Ugh, I almost chickened out this morning. So <laughs> this trail is extremely popular and that's partially due to Instagram, which is where I found it. And Instagram's obviously made a lot of places more popular and well known. They just look so beautiful and we really, really wanna go. Um, it's partially an unmaintained trail, so for the most part you're on a normal park trail and then you split off and go on an unmaintained trail, which basically means that the park does not keep it up, so it might be a little overgrown, there might be like trees you have to climb over, things like that. But the reason I'm really nervous, well there's two. First is that there's a good chance we might see a bear today, grizzly or black bear, and I'm kind of scared of that, but It'll be okay. No one's reported that they've been like attacked or anything. So we should be good. Hopefully we'll see one from a prepared. distance. I'm prepared. <laughs> um, the second reason I'm nervous is there are two boulder fields we have to cross. And as you may have seen on our vlog, like two vlogs ago, I'm not really a big fan of that. That's not your forte. <laughs> yeah, but everyone says it's worth it. It's really, really hard, but it's worth it for the view. So we're just gonna power through and yeah. then treat ourselves a, a nice treat afterwards, I guess. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> So we've heard this was a very popular hike, but so far we've only seen a few backpackers coming down and on these hikes where you're kind of nervous about the wildlife, <laughs> it always lowers your anxiety a little bit when you see other hikers, so. Ooh, yeah, we hope we run into more people soon. Yeah. And we know we're being like a tad dramatic maybe about the wildlife. I mean, we've studied bear safety. We have our bear spray. We understand that like we are going into their home and they don't want to hurt us, you know, unless they feel threatened, yeah. so. Out of breath, but we know we'll be okay. It's just, yeah, just an uneasy feeling, and we're going so slow. <laughs> So you follow the trail to Amphitheater Lake and then you turn off at some point. We'll show you when that is once we find it. All right, we're officially on the Delta Lake Trail. It wasn't too hard to find. So basically there's a turn off for a hike that's called something canyon and shortly after that there's a curve and then it's just right to the right at the curve you'll see a dirt path kind of steep going down thankfully there are other groups around and they helped us yeah. confirm we were going to the right place getting a bit more rugged here i'm breathing heavy i see the boulders in front of us first uh -oh. boulder field uh oh here. at least there's a group i feel better knowing that we're all in this together yeah so here we go should be fun. Ooh. You gotta crawl under some <laughs> trees. <laughs> this trail, like, as soon as you turn off, is like instantly more rugged. It's not a walk in the park anymore. One boulder field down, one to go. I think the next one's quite a bit harder though, but so far so good. So the first part of this trail until you split off is actually pretty easy. It's not a hard trail. You know, there's elevation, but the terrain's really nice. This is definitely the harder part, but so far so good. We're gonna hope it stays that way. We're going up there. This is like a 45 degree incline. We're going straight up crazy, but we got a sneak peek of is it Disappointment Peak? Yeah, I think so. We got a sneak peek of Disappointment Peak, which is the peak at the back of the lake, the view that you get up there, and it's getting us excited to finish her off, right? It'd be easy, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I don't feel as scared as I did the other day, but the rocks are definitely really wobbly. But wow, the view. To be honest, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. I think we're really close. 
However, it is going to be awful going down. There's some really like steep, slick, dusty parts where you have to just put your foot on any like solid rock you can find. And going down on those is pretty rough. I might just like slide down on my butt. <laughs> we think we made it. We're about to round the corner, get the first glimpse. So this lake is absolutely gorgeous. I can totally see why it's becoming really popular. However, we will say there aren't a ton of people here right now, which is really, really great. It's one of those like Gatorade blue glacier lakes. And when you just see it, you're like, ah, and against like the, the like rocks and the mountain and everything is just so beautiful. It reminds us a little bit of Lago de Sorpis and the Dolomites in Italy, where we were just about like two months ago. Yeah, it's perfect because there's these big rocks that kind of line the edge of the lake and we're gonna have our little picnic here. So we brought our favorite backpacking meals from Wild Zora. These are delicious. We take these on all our backpacking trips. They've been in a vlog or two before, so you might've seen them, but they're awesome. They're like paleo, they're like healthy. Um, we're not paleo necessarily, but we like healthy food. We have like a beef chili as well as a beef stew. And if you wanna try them for yourself, we do have a discount code. It is A plus K 20, get you 20% off. But do it. Yeah, we take, we take them with us everywhere. They're yeah. so, so good. Yeah. Lunch with a view. So since this is glacial water, it's freezing cold, but we haven't felt it yet, but there's people about to jump in behind us. I don't know how they're doing it. It's not as cold as I thought it'd be, to be honest. <laughs> it's probably because that spot was super shallow and the sun's hitting it, because the guy who jumped in said it was bone chilling cold. Oh yeah, that's a lot of colder. It's like an ice bath. All right, down we go. Let's see how treacherous it is. Ooh. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. We're taking our time. We can go a lot faster once we get back on the main trail, but this is definitely the trickier part. The nice thing though, and my mom will be happy to hear this, is there aren't like drop offs. So if we were to slip on this rocky part, we're not gonna fly off a cliff. So that makes me feel better. And hopefully that maybe makes you feel better, mom. Probably get a text about this. <laughs> All right, so we're heading down the trail and we ran into some people that were going up that they said they saw a bear down at the bottom of these boulders here. So we're kind of on high alert looking <laughs> for it. We're hoping we'll see it. It's funny that I'm like celebrating now. Earlier yeah. I was so scared. I want to see it, but I want it to be far yeah, away. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of people around. So yeah, I don't feel as scared as I was. Not earlier, too worried. But that would be pretty cool. I do want to see it though. Yeah, <laughs> it's a black bear. So it's like the less aggressive of the two. Yeah. We made it back to the main Tain Trail and now we can cruise on down. Yeah, it'll be much easier going down. One tip we have, and that's for like really any hike you ever do, is to get the All Trails app. They have a way for you to track how you were going on the map. And they say you have to pay to get offline maps, but I've been using it on airplane mode just fine. It's helped us a lot on the hike we did two days ago in Wyoming, as well as the hike today, just to make sure we're going the right way. So that's my hiking tip because getting lost would be awful. <laughs> So we never saw the bear, but we made it back in one piece. And I feel like I read too much about this hike and freaked myself out a lot. I was reading blogs, reviews, and you know, it's kind of like when you read Yelp, like you never really know the person who's writing the review and like their experience or their skill level. So I don't know, I think I freaked myself out a lot about like the bears and the boulder field and stuff. I didn't do any research on it. <laughs> uh, so all I heard was that it's gonna be hard and she was nervous about bears. So that makes me nervous about bears, but like when we're in the parking lot going into hikes and things like that, if there's no cars, I'm a little worried, but there's a lot of cars in here. And so yeah. I knew there was going to be people along the way. So it took us a while to I find wasn't them. wasn't too worried. So, but I will say, so I did a lot of research and I heard it was hard, but I actually think it was easier than I had built it up to be in my head. Mm -hmm. The boulder field part was actually one of, was easier than some other parts of the hike where it was just like dust and like uphill and kind of slippery. So I actually thought it was a little bit easier, but it was an awesome hike. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you start like in this meadow trail and then you start climbing up a little bit and then it's just like a steady incline of switchbacks. And then you get to like off the trail for the yeah. uh, Delta Lake trail. And then it gets really rugged and really going up the boulders and stuff. But it's a big payoff at the end. Oh, it was so, so worth it. So beautiful. Definitely not the hardest hike we've done, but it no, is hard. It it's is not the easiest trail either don't yeah. get me wrong but that view at the end makes it a hundred percent worth it for sure 
So we feel a little stupid for like freaking out a lot about bears on this vlog. I'm sure some of y'all are like, oh my God, stop about, about the bears. <laughs> but you know, we, we want to just be safe and we were yeah. nervous and we always want to like share our true feelings while we're traveling because yeah. we're not always going to be like happy and excited. Sometimes we're going to be <laughs> upset or nervous. So that's okay. We still hope we see a bear at some point yeah. from the car while we're in Wyoming or the rest of our travels. So we'll cross our fingers for that, but it was nice to not experience a bear on the trail. <laughs> So what's the best thing after a hard hike? Ice cream. Mm. Oh, it's all good. We came to that's on my lip. <laughs> we came to Moose Ice Cream to get the wild huckleberry flavor because it is a local, not delicacy, but local flavor uh, for Jackson. Yeah. Wyoming. So Wyoming, I, apparently, at least like the Yellowstone Grand Teton area, we saw so many things about you have to get huckleberry ice cream. So. Here we are, I got two scoops. <laughs> and I'm not normally like a fruity ice cream kind of person, but this is really good. Yeah. Mm. And I was gonna go in and be good. <laughs> and then she was like, I'm gonna get two scoops. Cause we hiked nine miles. And I was like, okay, I will too. But I wasn't expecting them to be this big, but I'm not upset about yeah, it, that's for sure. Massive scoops. <laughs> so if you want a lot of ice cream, go to Moo's. And it's very good. And really good. We are driving to where we hope to park for the night, and we just saw a buffalo! Our first one ever! So cool, there's like 12 or 15 of them off in the distance over there. They're kind of too far to get on the camera, but the one we did see... He was, was close enough, yeah. He was yeah. in range, so it was, that was cool. Oh, that was so cool. So today we saw a moose and a buffalo. Solid wildlife day. <laughs> this is our home for the night. Not bad, huh? This is definitely by far the best view we've had from a camp spot, our third night here. The previous two nights we didn't really have much to look at. We also showed up in the dark both times, yeah. so we didn't even know what there was to look at. But this one, the Tetons are right there. It's awesome. super cool. Uh, so we're calling it a early night tonight. We're gonna get some work done and try to get some sleep tonight so we can wake up early and get a big day tomorrow because it's our first kind of full week of working on the road. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do the laundry tomorrow, work, <laughs> all the fun things. Yeah. But don't worry, we still have some fun adven adventures planned. Yeah. The Grand Teton area before we head a little bit more north, so stay tuned. <laughs> 